Let's talk to Clem Chambers from Investors Hub. Very good morning to you, Clem. Morning, Nick. How's it going? Um, yeah, all good. Right, so let's talk markets. Uh, Bitcoin below 10,000. The Dow S&P's trading near as damn it at record highs. Gold off its top. Um, anything to worry about this week? Well, not if you're long equities. Um, if you're long Bitcoin, there's plenty to worry about. I mean, the axe, the axis of this whole market at the moment is the China trade war with the US, or rather US's trade war with China. And that's all about whether it's going to be settled or not. If it's going to be settled, the equity market will explode, Bitcoin will crash. If it's not settled, Bitcoin will go up and down and up and down and equities will go up and down and up and down. It's as simple as that. So every time it seems that we're going to get um, you know, good news coming out of China on this uh, trade uh, conflict, up goes the equity market, down goes Bitcoin. The funny thing is that Bitcoin moves a day, sometimes two days before the news. So obviously someone in these negotiations is, as soon as he gets out of the elevator, is buying Bitcoin if the news is bad and selling it if the news is good. And um, I suspect it's not Americans. But anyway, the Bitcoin action is coming out of Asia. So if they think they're on to a improvement in the situation, you're going to get a weak Bitcoin in a strong equities market. Now, I am tempted to imagine, I look at the chart and I say, this is, this is going down. So I think Bitcoin has a high probability of going down. But of course, we're talking about politics now, which is completely unpredictable and with lots of unpredictable people in that situation. So it could go anywhere. I mean, it could go very, very, very high if the wheels were to come off this situation. But I think a lot of people are putting a lot of pressure on to get this situation sorted. So I think we're going to have a kind of, you know, a pull between these two poles. And Bitcoin at 10,000 is, is where it should be. Same goes for gold. You know, gold is it's the same deal, really. Um, so gold, Bitcoin will be sideways trading. If there's good news on the China um, trade war front, it will fold. And if there's bad news, it will rock it. And equities are going to stay around here, maybe, you know, come off a little bit because we're at highs. But if the trade war is settled, and it will at some point be settled, I believe anyway, then off will go equities on another run. Because interest rates are going down. QE is going to be coming back pretty soon, I reckon, um, in, in North America. So all the signs are good for a rally. All you need is a little bit of rapprochement between Trump and Xi, and we're off to the races in equities. Not such a great news for anybody on Bitcoin, but you know, if you're smart, you're using Bitcoin as a hedge for this trade war. And obviously, if the good news comes, the hedge loses money. So that's how I'm playing it. And I think that equities sometime in the not too distant futures will go on a run anyway. So very good to be long equities, very good to be hedged Bitcoin. Clem, we've run out of time. Thought-provoking as always. That's Clem Chambers from Investors Hub. Thank you very much indeed.